So I'm usually going to do it uh, when I'm on a slope as opposed to flat because it requires me bending over. Okay. And a couple ways I can do it. I'll have the pick going away from me. Okay. And I can have my foot on the rope or if I can kick it soft enough, I have a little less friction to do it like this. Okay. But again, the main thing with all our snow anchors is we don't want the axe to get pulled up high, right? So this helps keep the pull low on the axe, but there's a little more friction. But if it's firm snow, I can even have crampons on. That rope will still pull fine, okay? So I come around, again, above or below, and then I'll go below just so it's more visible. And then this comes around like this. And I'm actually got my hands crossed the whole time. So it's also kind of slow to pull a lot of rope in. So I'm not doing it for a whole pitch. But if we're climbing from steep snow and I get 10 feet of ice, I want a little more secure belay. I might do that. And so the whole idea is you can, you're on belay, you can climb very slow. I'm just pulling it up and take a small, just wait a little bit. I come back. The big thing is I wrap this around my ankle. So that's the friction. It's like a belay device. My other hand, I'm keeping on top of the axe just to make sure it doesn't pop up. So that's why I'm having my hands crossed. Okay, you can climb really slow. Hands crossed, fall a little bit, comes over like that. Again, kind of a backbreaker. Contrived terrain because that's an actual slope. I don't need anything, but if it's steeper, it's a little more comfortable to do it. Okay? Yeah, I was just thinking of flexing it around the ankle. Yeah. Okay, Hope you're forgetting something. What did you forget to do when I fell? Why are your hands crossed? Nope. On top of the axe. On top of the axe? Yep. Okay. So go back. Mm -hmm. That's why you're crossing. There we go.